All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to make an Omega Kerfus, the one that has legs and a face and looks like a cat girl inside of Voices of the Void. And what we're going to need here today is we're going to need a couple of Kerfus because we need just like a couple more parts than comes with just one. And then we're going to need this guide, the Kerfus Omega Recipe. <clears throat> so we need five Kerfus parts, two plastic scrap, one metal scrap, two electronic scrap, a rubber scrap, a Kerfus color, and a radioactive capsule. If you're wondering where to get this little guidebook, you can get this over here inside of the bunker, which is right in here. If you go up top here, you can fish with a hook down in this hole, and there's a little ID badge down in there that you can fish up, and then that's what will gain you access to this main door here. Then you can either purchase a code like changer from the store, which is expensive, or if you've already got one, you can use something like a crowbar to whack the door open. Inside of this bunker isn't really much, like there's just a bunch of trash like the rest of the game. And some chairs and stuff, like I tried to prop this open but it didn't really work. And then if you go back in here, behind all this stuff in this back corner, but if you go all the way back into here, in this back corner in the right, behind here along the wall, behind these crates, is the Kerfus manual. So So anyway, that's where you get the book for the Kerfer Omega recipe. Um, we're gonna go ahead and grab the last remaining ingredient on this list, which is the radioactive capsule, which is down next to um, I think it's power station number two, which is to the southwest. And we're gonna have to dig that bad boy up. And the radiation can give us cancer, which is annoying in this game. So I purchased a suit, a hazmat suit, to make it so that we don't die of cancer. So I'm gonna go ahead and wear that because I don't wanna carry it around the whole time. And we're gonna go over here. Now, if you wanna take this off, because you don't wanna leave this suit on, you just go to your inventory, click the equipment tab here at the top, and then you just click on it inside of one of those boxes is how you unequip stuff that you have equipped to your person. The more you know, shing, sparkle, sparkle. So we're gonna go over here down to the power substation, and then if we follow a little dirt path past the power substation, there will be a dead body and uh, something weird buried there. We will dig it up, we will hook it to the back of our ATV, and that will be our radioactive capsule. Um, if you don't really care about getting cancer in this game, um, you don't necessarily need this hazmat suit that I have on. That said, cancer in this game does reduce your maximum health, which, depending on how light risque you like to play with the different events in this game, could result in you dying more often. It's also really expensive to purchase cancer drugs in this game to get rid of it. So, there you have it. That said... Relatively inexpensive to wear this hazmat suit, especially if you're to the point in the game where you can be building Omega Kerfer. So I would totally recommend grabbing it just for the convenience of having that and having it all done. So you come over here next to where this door is off on the ground and you follow these tracks into the woods. There should be a dead body. Here it is. This is Dave. Say hi, everybody. So we want to dig around over here and get our radioactive capsule using a shovel. So there you have it, radioactive capsule. Everyone's favorite. Um, supposedly there's more than one of these because you can make like an RGB curver which I'll be covering a little bit later how to make that, if that is in fact a thing. I still need to verify. 
But yeah, so this is our uh, lovely radioactive capsule. We can put it in our inventory, I guess. I don't actually know if that's going to give me cancer, but if it does, <clears throat> you will be the first to know. Okay, so now we're back. Let's go ahead and drop this radioactive capsule on the ground. And we will place it with the other parts. Actually, we don't need this yet. We need to take apart the curfers. So first victim, I mean, test subject. Boom. They turned into the different parts. I'll put the wheel over here. I don't think we need that. So we need to take apart two curfers. And we need five parts in total, so we'll have a spare part. Just kind of chilling off to the side. We'll keep our curfer guide handy, in case I need to reference that. And we'll just continue to tear apart the two curfers. So the curfer color I'm going to start with is blue, because it's the best. Although eventually I want to make it RGB if that is in fact a thing. There we go. We'll put this wheel over here. We'll just put this our, mur our Kerfer murder pile. So we need two of the, or five of these. So this is going to be three of them, plus a color. We'll put you here. Where's our radioactive capsule? We'll need this bad boy. Only two of you. And then we need, what else do we need? We needed two plastic scrap, which is why I have this giant pile of plastic scrap. I'll clean up later. Then we need metal scrap, which is what I just dropped in this shame pile over here. I'm leaving on my suit because this is still a radioactive capsule. I don't want to get super cancer. Uh, we need the metal scrap, two electronic scrap, which is this stuff. Which I need to make more of you. And we need one rubber scrap, and then that should be it. So that's this is the rubber scrap. Oh, okay, so I can make two different varieties. I can make the blue one, or I can make, like, the black, sad, dingy, falling apart one. So I'm gonna make the blue one. So now we've done it. Now we've made our first Kerfer Omega. So let me go ahead and take off this outfit, since I won't be getting cancer now. Bing, bang, boom. I'll just put this here as our spare parts for Kerfination. And yeah, that actually uh, turned out pretty well. So now what we can do is, are you charged? I can't even tell. We might not even need to bother with that. Whoa. Okay, so this is our curfer. So let's uh, say you need to give Kerfus this paper sheet and do uh, get reports, and they will. What an absolute champion. There they go. This one's slightly less dumb than the regular wheeled version and shouldn't get stuck on as many things while they perform their tasks. So that's how you make Omega Kerfus. And then depending on what other materials you have with you on the bench, if you've referenced the wiki, you can make one that looks like a mannequin. Um, there's a couple other ones that look like plushies and that sort of thing. So check it out. Otherwise, that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.